Howdy, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Vox Terra, hosted today by me, Yukon Jack, and me, Rusty. What, what's on for today, Yukon? Today, Rusty, we got ourselves a whole fixed load of trouble. Heap load of trouble, I like to say. I was listening to a public radio show called Living on Earth. Living on Earth. And it turns out that earlier here in November, that old Keystone XL pipeline was bursting and leaking nearly 400,000 gallons of spilled oil leaking into the wetlands of North Dakota. Oh, Yukon, that's awful. But is that is that all this Vox Terra is? It's just awful news. I, I can't take much more. No, Rust Eye, as you know, our purpose here is to get folks to focus on the long-term survival of the humans of the species. And the way we do that is help people communicate to cut through the media silence. So how are we going to communicate about this spill? We're going to get some bullet points, generalities. Point one, fossil fuels are much more than just superheating our planet and throwing all the weather systems off so you get crazy extreme weather conditions. We know some folks don't believe that's happening because the education system in the country is weak and the media is complacent and owned by fossil fuel interests or influenced by them, rather. So whenever we talk about climate change and the need to reduce fossil fuels, bring up stuff like these here oil spills and massive oil leaks contaminating water, contaminating soil, contaminating the air with burning fossil fuels. Oh, that's a great point, Yukon. So... We're not just going to say, hey, folks, burning tons of fossil fuels are superheating the planet and throwing all the weather systems off. We're going to add in, look, there was a massive oil spill in, in uh, at, at this Keystone XL pipeline, a massive nearly 400,000 gallons of oil. And if we were focusing on renewables and conservation, well, this oil spill wouldn't have happened. So either way, cutting back on oil and fossil fuels is good for us. That's right, Rusty, and point two we're going to make is that both sides are not the same politically. Oh, I wish they were, Rusty. Do you remember old Barack Obama? Oh, I remember that old feller. He's getting older, too, now. Well, Barack Obama, as evidence that both sides are the same initially, he was going to push forward with these pipelines is how I remember it. But hold your horses here, both sides of the same folks. Hold your horses. What happened, Yukon? What happened was Barack was going to push forward, but then we took to protest and we environmentalists. You might remember it. I do remember it. I went to some myself. There is a picture of protesters up in the background you can take a little peek at. Oh, yeah, it's a nice picture. Well, we got to protest and old Barack, he backed down and said, I'm going to oppose these pipelines too. Basically, that's how it happened. I remember. And then, so, but how come the pipelines are all going forward? Oh, 2016 saw the election of old Donald Trump. Now, the media didn't talk a lot about his environmental policies and record, but if they did, folks would have known what they're signing up for. And they still don't talk much about it. So that's another talking point. Both sides are not the same. Donald Trump went and pushed through these here pipelines and plenty others. All right, so point two is is that it looks like the fossil fuel industry has got a lot more sway in the Republican Party, especially at the national level. It'd be great if that changed, folks. So if you're a Republican listening, how about becoming a green Republican and changing that? But for now, realistically, the Democrats are voting better on it. That's what we're trying to say here, Rust Eye, and I wish it wasn't so, but it's so it is. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I hope you learned from it. hope you can communicate better about the environment now, and please... uh Support our channel, give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe, click that notification bell so you know we're on again, and hope you enjoy puppets with funny voices, and even if you don't, I well, hope you just enjoy the information, and uh, thanks for watching, it means a mighty lot to us. Yeah, thanks a lot. So until next time, please, uh, peace be with you. Peace be with you, that's what we say on the show, peace be with you.